Topic: Early History 1971 to 1977. 1971 Syzygy, a precursor to Atari Inc. launches Computer Space, the first commercial video arcade game. It is a derivative of Space War, one of the earliest video games, developed in 1962.1972 Atari Inc. launches Pong, the first commercially successful video game. It is also the first arcade sports video game. 1974 Taito releases Speed Race, which introduces scrolling sprite graphics, and features a racing wheel controller. Midway releases it as Racer in the United States. 1975 Midway MFG releases Gunfight, an adaptation of Taito's Western Gun and the first arcade video game to use a microprocessor, which the original incarnation did not use, allowing for improved graphics and smoother animation. 1976 Sega releases Moto Cross, which features haptic feedback, causing the handlebars to vibrate during collisions. Sega Gremlin re brands it as Fonz. Atari Inc. releases Night Driver, an early example of a first-person perspective racing video game. Atari releases Breakout, which inspires a number of Breakout clones. Exidy releases Death Race. 1977 Cinematronics releases Space Wars, the first vector graphics arcade game. Topic: <laughs> Golden Age 1978 to 1986. 1978 Taito releases Space Invaders, the first blockbuster arcade video game, responsible for starting the golden age of video arcade games. It also sets the template for the shoot 'em up genre, and influences nearly every shooter game released since then. 1979 Atari releases Lunar Lander and Asteroids, a major hit in the United States and Atari's best selling game of all time. Namco releases Galaxian, which is in RGB color. 1980 Atari releases Battlezone, a first person shooter tank combat game. Namco releases Pac Man, its biggest selling game. One of the most influential games, it had the first gaming mascot character, established the maze chase genre, opened gaming to female audiences, and introduced power ups and cutscenes. Data East releases Deco Cassette System, the first standardized arcade platform, for which many games were made. Williams Electronics released Defender, a more challenging shoot em up space game with control configuration of five buttons and a joystick. 1981 Atari release Tempest, the first color vector arcade game. Nintendo releases Donkey Kong, which was one of the first platform games. It was also the game that introduced Mario, named simply Jumpman at the time, to the video game world. Konami releases Scramble, the first side-scrolling shooter with forced scrolling and multiple distinct levels. Konami releases Frogger, a popular arcade action game. 1982 Namco releases Pole Position, one of the most popular racing games of all time. This is also Namco's first game to feature a 16-bit CPU making it the first 16-bit video game. 1983 Bally Midway releases Journey, the first game with digitized sprites. Astron Belt, the first Laserdisc video game, is released by Sega. Dragon's Lair, the first video game to use cell animated video instead of computer-generated graphics was advertised as the first truly 3D video game and as the meeting point of video games and animated films. Atari brings Star Wars to the arcades in the form of a 3D vector graphics simulation of the movie's attack on the Death Star sequence and featuring digitized samples of voices from the movie. 1984 Marble Madness and Paperboy are released by Atari Games. 1985 Gauntlet is released by Atari Games. Gradius Nemesis in some countries is released by Konami. Space Harrier is released by Sega. Versus. Super Mario Bros., the arcade version of Super Mario Bros. originally on the Nintendo Entertainment System Famicom in Japan, is released into arcades. Tekken World Cup, the father of soccer games with an above view of the field, is released by Tekken, who also release its stablemate, Gridiron Fight. Air Race was also planned to be released by Atari in 1985. Due to the high cost of the hardware, the game also was cancelled. If released, it would have been the first arcade racing game to use 3D polygon graphics. 
The Empire Strikes Back is released and became Atari's last major vector based arcade game. 1986 Taito releases Bubble Bobble. Sega releases Outrun. Chiller by Exidy is released and is an early example of blood and gore. Top Gunner by Exidy is released and is the last commercial arcade video game to use vector based wireframe graphics. Turbo Cowrier is released by the Vivid Group and is the first coin operated virtual reality arcade video game to use 3D polygon graphics. Topic: <laughs> Post Golden Age 1987 present. 1987 Technos Japan releases Double Dragon. It became a huge hit, paving the way for beat em up games. 1988 NARC, by Williams, is released and is the first commercially released game to use a 32 bit processor. Namco releases Assault, which was the first game to make use of massive sprite rotation as well as sprite scaling. It also released Splatterhouse, which was the first game to get a parental advisory disclaimer. Namco introduces the Namco System 21 Polygonizer. The first arcade system board designed for 3D polygonal graphics. The first game to use it is the racing video game Winning Run. Top Landing by Taito is released and is the first coin-operated flight simulation to use 3D polygon graphics and runs on Taito's air system board. Tetris makes the jump from home to arcade as an Atari coin-op 1989 Exterminator by Gottlieb is released and is the first video game to use fully digitized graphics in every element of the game. This was Gottlieb's last video game. Hard Driven, by Atari Games is released and is the second arcade driving game to have 3D polygonal graphics. STUN. Runner is released by Atari Games and is known for early use of high-speed 3D polygonal graphics. 1990 Pit Fighter is released by Atari Games and is the first ever fighting game to use fully digitized graphics. Released two years before Midway's Mortal Kombat. Galaxian Cubed is released by Namco as a video game theme park attraction and is the first to feature eight players. This game is a sequel to the Galaxian series and is known for combining pre-Laserdisc background images and 3D polygonal graphics. It was later released as an arcade cabinet to the public in 1994. NOM 1975 is released by SNK and is the first game running on a Neo Geo hardware and became the standardized arcade platform throughout the 90s to the early 2000s. Many 2D fighting games like Fatal Fury, World Heroes, and Samurai Showdown ran on this hardware and was very popular in the arcades for its time. 1991 Capcom releases Street Fighter II, revolutionizing competitive play in the arcade setting and setting the template for fighting games. 1992 Midway Games releases Mortal Kombat, which features blood and fatalities. Sega releases Virtua Racing, Sega's first 3D racer as well as Sega's first polygonal 3D game. 1993 Mortal Kombat 2 is released, featuring high-quality digitized graphics, and the most advanced sound system in arcades at the time, the DCS sound system which allowed for MP3-style compression to all sounds. Sega releases Virtua Fighter, the first 3D fighting game. 1994 Killer Instinct is released, the first arcade game with a hard disk, up to that point the game with the highest quality graphics pre-rendered by a rendering program, featuring to this day the highest quality use of the movie background technique. Namco releases Tekken, another fighting game. 1995 Midway Games releases Mortal Kombat 3, which was part of the Mortal Kombat series. 1996 SNK releases Metal Slug, a run and gun game widely known for its sense of humor, fluid hand drawn animation, and fast paced two player action. 1998 Konami releases Dance Dance Revolution, an arcade game with four arrow pads that the players used to dance. This game would create many sequels and spin-offs. Gauntlet Legends is released by Atari Games and it is the first game in the Gauntlet series to be produced in 3D and is the last Gauntlet game released by Atari Games. 1999 Rush 2049 is released, the last arcade game to bear the Atari Games logo. Atari Games in Milpitas is renamed Midway Games West, and closes its coin-op product development division. Hydro Thunder is released by Midway Games a 3D speedboat racing game and was one of the first to run on Quicksilver 2 hardware, a Windows-based hardware setup which was less expensive to use. 
The game was one of Midway Games' most successful arcade games to date. Derby Owners Club which was the first large-scale satellite arcade machine with smart cards, which have become a staple in Japanese game centers since .2000 Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes is released by Capcom and runs on Sega's Naomi hardware. This game combines 2D character sprites, background arenas and special effects are 3D polygon based. Point two zero zero one Namco releases Tekken 4, the first talking game to feature almost all characters talking to one another. Sega releases Virtua Fighter 4, the first arcade game with online features in Japan. Point two zero zero two Arctic Thunder, special edition is released and is the last arcade game by Midway Games and runs on a PC based hardware Midway Graphite. Its arcade division was later shut down. Sega launched World Club Champion Football, which introduced trading cards, which have become a staple in Japanese game centers. See also Arcade game Golden Age of Arcade Video Games List of best-selling arcade video games Video Arcade